process. Not only the police. What does Mopa say as from um, enlightening us there? Doesn't Mopa say the political parties should inform the police? To, should they seek sanctioning from the police or they should inform the police? What exactly does the law say? Because this has been a very contentious issue. In terms of Section 7 of the maintenance of the production But have you, have you also stopped uh, those from the ruling party? Uh, it seems we only get reports that uh, opposition political party members are being stopped by the police. If you stop the law any from vanity, certainly, certainly. If you may at least say to me the one or two yes, that, certain, that, you may, that you remember you have stopped. Yeah, I, I remember. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that vanity is a rally where the president wants to address and community members of a certain community say they are not comfortable, they are not happy. According to Mopa, have you ever had such an issue, or does the police? have the power to actually stop a Zanu PF rally where the president is going to be addressing. Tony, the law is very clear. We are speaking of uh, MOPA. If the notification process is not uh, done according to the provisions of MOPA, the police certainly do so. And we have made it clear, Tony, to all political parties, the Commissioner General of Police has directed poli police commanders to make it clear to all political parties to say, no one should be hold a rally, no one should hold a public gathering without notifying the police. Why? Because the issue of the security of the public has to be considered. And uh, to avoid these situations where people are complaining or are complaining to say we notified the police but there is no record, we have directed since January 2023 to all police districts to have registers where they record all notifications given for a particular police station or for a particular uh, district so that uh, if there are queries the media is free the election observers are free to go and inspect this register to confirm that indeed a particular party is booking their rallies a particular party is not booking their rallies that way we hope it will address some of these allegations which are leveled against this model of the uh, we've had uh, uh, last on, on this condition. So I think Mashingo and uh, Bindura, where the people see, were in numerous times uh, denied access to their value. Uh, do we have any hostility between uh, the people see and the police in these specific provinces? Uh, what is your understanding? Because it seems as they've tried too many times in those two provinces, but unsuccessfully, especially Mashingo and uh, Bindura, Mash Central and Mashingo. Uh, to be quite uh, honest, um, uh, still on those issues of uh, perceived uh, or alleged bias on the police, uh, within the political violence issues, uh, how many of these are these agreements specifically in, within the Zanu uh, And uh, we, we usually have skirmishes towards build up of an election, whereby some triple C supporters allege that even if we report violence, we are also arrested. Uh, even at the moment, at the time of reporting a uh, certain political violence that has been done against us as victims. Uh, what is your understanding of this case? Uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, uh, Tommy, we are uh, all Zimbabweans. There is life after elections. Children have to go to school. The economic activities have to continue. People need to continue with their lives so that they can be able to look after their families. So we don't want all these activities to be affected by political violence. Mm -hmm. Another interesting development I uh, uh, asked from uh, when police sanction triple C rallies, uh, they tend to have certain conditions like there should be no toy toy or march to the venue or hooting or car rallies. But you seem to be seeing some of these activities numerous times within Zanu PF. Are these conditions uh, specific to a certain political party or what? How, what really drives such conditions? I think we've seen certain for our letters to political parties that say yes, you have a rally, but you can't toy toy or hoot around. But you seem to be seeing other political parties freely doing this. What is the rationale here? Issues of intimidation. We have heard many cases, uh, the Mberengwa classical case, uh, intimidation against Nelson Chamisa, and certain Zanu PF values. I think there was another one that was saying that says, uh, we're going to be killing uh, you if you are going to be voting otherwise. And there was another one from Mozambique. I'm sure you are familiar with these three videos. Uh, these were uh, issues of threat and intimidation being done by Zanu PF officials. Have these been arrested? Uh, as we speak, Tony, we are conducting investigations. And I also wanted to uh, report, I can assure you. So, what has happened so far with those three classical cases? We, 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 I know the Merenguan has been there for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Are you still investigating, and how much time does it take to investigate? De definitely. Investigations they can take uh, weeks, months, years, uh, Tony. Uh, and one of the challenges which we get with the politics 
maybe it is to do with this uh, myth that uh, politics is a dead game. Uh, but our last one on the habit of those classical three cases, where are we right now as the police is fine? Those I, I will make a follow up with the police commanders next week in turn and they will definitely give you feedback. Because uh, as you speak, there are several cases which are investigating and uh, as the election uh, hit, uh, I can see definitely some reports will be made, genuine reports for that matter and also...